Hi friends, welcome back. This is Sujan. I'm a mechanical engineer by profession and a mechatronic enthusiast. In this video, I'll be talking about the DST11 sensor, that's the unity and the temperature sensor. So this is the second video on Arduino module series. If you want to watch the first video all about the ultrasonic sensor, the link is in the top, that's the I button. So uh, in this video, I'll be telling about the working principle of this, the hardware specifications how they are used with the arduino board and its applications and also the weakness and also i'll be telling you are there any other better sensor than this to use with your arduino board so watch the entire video to understand all about this sensor and so let's get started So now coming into the working principle of the sensor, what is inside this blue uh, plastic casing? It con contains a humidity sensor and a NTC temperature thermistor. So what's NTC? NTC is nothing but the negative temperature coefficient. NTC thermistors are resistors with a negative temperature coefficient which means the resistance decreases as the temperature increases. These NTC sensors are used typically when the temperature is ranging from minus 55 degrees celsius to 200 degrees celsius. So now coming into the humidity sensor working. So this sensor uses a humidity holding material which is in between the two electrodes. So as the humidity changes the conductivity of the material changes or it's also like resistance changes between these two electrodes. This changes is measured and processed by the IC and we can read it in our microcontroller. So now talking about the hardware specification of this sensor that is DHT11 sensor. So DHT11 sensor can measure the humidity in the range of 20 to 90 percent RH. But what is RH? RH it's nothing but the relative humidity. It is the ratio of the current absolute humidity to the highest possible humidity based on the current air temperature. So the 100% uh, of relative uh, humidity means that the air is completely saturated uh, with the water vapor and cannot hold any more water vapor. And this sensor has an accuracy of 5% RH. So coming into the, sen uh, the temperature sensor, this sensor has a range of 0 to 50 degrees Celsius and uh, it has an accuracy of plus or minus 2 degrees. And it, it, it has an operating current uh, of 0.3 milliamps and it works with a voltage of uh, 3 to 5.5 volts. So this has a single bus data communication and synchronization between MCU and DHT11 sensor. One communication process is about 4 milliseconds. So let's talk about the module. So this is a DHT11 uh, temperature and humidity sensing module. So this module has three outputs as you can see. So the left side is the ground, data and VCC. This data when transmits humidity as well as the temperature, uh, temperature data. So coming into the sensor, but the sensor has four outputs. As you can see four pins so what are these pins so the the leftmost pin is the vcc and the second pin is the data and the third pin is not used and the fourth pin is ground so sometimes you get only the sensor you can buy only the sensor or you can buy the complete module so now what are the components which are required for this assembly and testing the humidity and the temperature sensor you would need a breadboard you would need a arduino uno board and the the usb a to usb b cable and the last thing is nothing but the jumper cables okay so we have all these things let's start uh, with the connections so now we have all the components ready so let's start connecting the temperature and humidity sensor with the microcontroller so here i'm plugging in the temperature and humidity sensor on the breadboard okay yeah so now i have connected these things so let's start with connecting the ground so i'll be connecting the ground from this to the ground on the microcontroller so then i'll be connecting the vcc Yeah, so I'll be connecting the VCC to 5 volts. Okay, so now I'll be connecting the data pin to pin number 2 on the Arduino board. 
yeah so here we have a very simple connection uh, of the sensor with the arduino board so it's very simple guys so here we are connecting the vcc2 plus 5 volts we are connecting the data pin to the pin number 2 on the arduino board and we are connecting the ground one uh, ground wire uh, ground pin to the ground on the arduino board so now let let me just connect this cable to the laptop and let's get started with the coding so let's start understanding the code which has to be dumped to the microcontroller initially i am defining the library of dht sensor so here i am giving the library name and then i am defining the dht sensor the data pin to pin number 2 on the arduino board then the next step is to define the dht type so what type of dht sensor are using here i am using dht11 sensor so i am mentioning the dht11 sensor so the next thing you have to do is the initializing a dht object called dht with uh, the pin and type dht type so next thing is the void setup which we have to do always in every code so this void in in void setup i am actually mentioning the uh, serial communication baud rate and also i'm just printing uh, the start of the start of program so you can give anything in this uh, quotes which it has to be displayed on the serial monitor so then i am initializing the dst sensor as dst dot begin so coming into the loop initially i am giving a delay of 2 seconds why am i giving the delay of 2 seconds because i am allowing the sensor uh, enough time for the sensor to uh, take the readings once after the 2 second is done so then i am initializing the float values h uh, to the read humidity function so here what i am doing is i am reading the humidity using this method Uh, on the DHT uh, and stored in H. Okay, the same method we have to use for reading the temperature and also reading the temperature in Fahrenheit. So, if you want to use Fahrenheit uh, as a unit, you have to mention true over here. Okay. So next we are going to check. So this is uh, something like uh, a code wherein it checks if there is any uh, data which is not read or it has failed to read. Uh, etc so that if it has failed to read it mentions that it has failed to read the data from the dst sensor so next we are going to compute uh, the heat index using this method from on the dst library and storing in hif okay so here i am using the fahrenheit as a unit and here i am using celsius as a unit so we are capturing both fahrenheit and uh, the celsius and heat index okay so the last step is nothing but uh, you're printing all the values which are stored in the variables on the serial monitor so it is as simple as it is so then we will start uploading the code to the microcontroller you just click on the arrow mark on the top okay so when i click uh, it is uploading it has compiled the software and it is yeah it ca uploading and done with the upload so now let's measure let's see what is the temperature and humidity in the room what where i'm sitting so go to tools and select serial monitor so when you select serial monitor the test begins so it says dst11 test has begun so now you can see that humidity is 67% and the temperature in fahrenheit and celsius and also the heat index is mentioned on the screen so this is the this is how you can write the code and you can see the output So now let's talk about the application of this sensor. So this sensor is used in weather stations to predict the weather conditions. This sensor is also used in preventing the equipments which are affected by humidity. So these sensors are also used in uh, offices, cars, museum, greenhouse and in manufacturing industries and also in household uh, air conditioning systems and ventilation systems. So coming into the drawbacks in the sensor it has a measuring range of 20 to 80% of RH and accuracy of uh, 5% and in temperature it has a range of 0 to 50 degrees celsius and plus or minus 2 degrees celsius as the accuracy uh, talking about the better sensor than DHT11 is DHT22 which has a operating uh, voltage of 3 to 5 volts and consumes 2.5 milliampere and it can measure the humidity in the range of 0 to 100% and it has a temperature measuring of uh, minus 40 degrees to 80 degrees celsius so speaking about the humidity uh, accuracy of this uh, dht22 sensor it has uh, 2 to 5% uh, percent of rh as the accuracy speaking about the temperature it has uh, accuracy of plus or minus 0.5 degrees celsius 
Thanks for watching this video and I'll be making more videos on Arduino modules. So subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever the video is published. If you want me to make any video on any of the Arduino modules, put it in the comment section below. So thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.